Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to go in great detail and show you exactly how to create a portfolio on Upwork. Upwork is one of the biggest tools that is available right now in the industry. Guys, if you're interested in finding qualified professional individuals to help you scale your business, this is the place to be, Upwork.com. So how does it work? Forget about the old rules. You can have the best people right now, right here. You can find talent, you can find work. This is trusted by Microsoft, Airbnb, B&B, GoDaddy. You can browse talent by categories, either be development and IT, design and creative, sales, marketing, writing and translation, admin or customer support, finance and accounting, engineering, architecture or legal. Everything is available on Upwork and you can easily post a job, hire a pro, browse and buy projects and they help you to find the right talent. And that is why businesses turn to Upwork because of proof of quality and no cost until you there get hired. It's safe and it's secure and you can find great talent and meet clients you're excited to work with and take your career or business to new heights. They're trusted by leading brands and startups such as Nasdaq and Microsoft. There's top skills available, trending skills, top skills in the US and project categories. They have so many individuals working in so many industries and each individual is verified, is checked out and has the experience to guide you, to help you and actually create for you something that your business requires. And you could be one of those individuals that can actually help businesses develop projects and content for them. So guys, without further ado, let me show you how that's done. The first thing you need to do is actually sign up if you haven't already got an account on Upwork. You'll go on the top right hand corner where it says sign up. We're going to click on it. And once we click on it, there's some basic information they actually ask you. They ask you that you want to join as a client or as a freelancer. There's depending if you're a business and you're hiring for a project, you'll say as a client. But if you're a freelancer looking for work, you go as a freelancer answer because today's video I'm going to show you how you will create a portfolio on Upwork so we're going to say I'm a freelancer that is looking for work so let's apply for a freelancer there's different methodologies that you can use to sign up to find work that you love either you can do it with Apple or with Google if you don't want to use any of that you can put your first name your last name your email address your password and your country and you can easily accept and create your account then you continue with Google now that we have signed up through our email address of Gmail, you can select the country that you'll be working from. Since we're working from Pakistan, we will say that send me emails with tips on how to find talent that fits my needs. And yes, I understand and agree with the Upwork terms and services, including the user agreement and privacy policy. Guys, this is a very important document, so I highly suggest that you go through these terms and services to make sure that you understand what you are agreeing to. If you have any questions, you can always comment in the comment section below, and I will guide you to the best of my ability. Let's create an account now. Your account has been successfully created and they're redirecting us right now to our profile. Hey 10 and obviously whatever your name is, you can put your name or hair. Are you ready for your next big opportunity? Yes, I am. You can answer a few questions and start building your profile and apply for open roles or list services for clients to buy and get paid safely and know we're there to help you. It only takes five to 10 minutes and that is how long we're going to take and show you exactly how to edit it. So let's get started. The first First thing you want to do is a couple of questions. So basically, have you freelanced before? Nope, it is new to me. I don't know how to freelance. So basically, I want to earn my main income. Now, how would you like to work? Everyone works in different ways. So they have actually developed different methodologies that help you work. Either you can find opportunities yourself or you can actually get a package or you can work as an Upwork to act as a recruiter or a package up to work for clients to buy. So we're going to refine opportunities myself. I'm going to click on it, scroll down and say next, let's create our program profile. So basically, there are two elements that you're going to keep in mind. They need information about your education, your experience and your skills, because that is the information that you provide to make sure that the clients understand that if you have the qualification and the experience to work on their project. So either you can import it from LinkedIn or or you can upload your resume or you can fill it out manually, which takes around 15 minutes. So for example, are you a full stack developer or web developer? I am a graphic designer. Now we'll add our experience, graphic designer, and the company that we worked for was the Educational Network, and the location was in Islamabad, and uh, I'm currently working in this role, and I started in June of 2000 and. 
11. So basically, you'll give a description about what your experiences are and what you do. And this is information that the client will see. And obviously, the more information you give over here, the better they would understand if you are suited for the project and if you want to work on the project and the reason why they should definitely hire you. So now we'll add our education. Basically, when you go to education, we'll click on it. You'll select the university. So we'll put university of Birmingham, the UK, and we have a bachelor's, a BA in obviously um, graphic designing. And then obviously when you attended from, so we attended it from been some time, obviously. So let's just put it like that, not six years, but yeah, you understand. This is a demo attesting that's why I'm not giving you the exact information. You can describe your studies in a word. And once you have done that, you will save it and we'll go to the next to the languages. Now, languages is very important, guys, because you got to make sure that you'll be able to communicate with your clients. The client wants to understand and see if you have the proficiency to communicate in a language. And that is why you have to make sure that the whatever language you select and you add, you make sure that you can actually speak it. We're going to put English, native and bilingual and we're going to save. Now we're almost done. So there's different skills. What are skills that you have? You can start adding different skills such as logo, animation, design enhancement, logo design, and as many as you want. There's maximum 15 skills that you can add. And then once you do that, you'll write your biography. Now your biography is literally the most important elements because it is an introduction to who you are as an individual. And it shows the strength and weaknesses, if you have any, to your clients. And that is the basis upon which a client will actually select you or not select you. I'm a designer with much experience and wish to work on projects that help me enhance my skill set. And there is more information, obviously. This is a test. So I'm going to give you a little bit of example. But in the description, you need to go in great detail and describe yourself and show individuals what strength that you tend to have. Now we'll choose the area of work that we want to select and work in. So basically, there are different categories that are available. There is accounting and counseling, admin, customer designing, IT networking, legal, uh, web, mobile, and software development. And we'll do design and creative and the subcategory for this is going to be obviously the most important it is going to be branding and logo design and now we have to set our rate so what is our hourly rate that the client will see so we're going to say ten dollars per hour and the fee is going to be two dollars per hour that upwork is going to take and we'll receive eight dollars that is how the system works so lastly we're going to put a photo and a location so this is the most important element, guys. I'm going to put a test photo right now, but the actual photo that you're going to put in needs to make sure that you're close to your face and that your face is clear with no sunglasses and obviously crisp with a neutral background. So let's select a profile picture. So now we will save. Now our pictures over here, we'll select a country. Obviously, we need to put an address. We'll put Islamabad. We'll put a city, Islamabad. And obviously, the zip code is going to be 42500 and the postcode is going to be 42. Five zero zero, and obviously we have to put our phone numbers. So this is my phone number, and obviously your phone number is one of the most important elements that you need to add. So basically, we put the country, the street address, the city, and the phone number. Remember, guys, the phone number is one of the most important elements when you're adding any profile or creating any profile on any of these platforms. And Upwork requires you to add your phone number and your phone number, which is active and which can be communicated on. Now you can preview your profile, and it's looking good. So basically, as I scroll down, you have your information of where you are, what your information you put, what your hourly rate is, your skills, your work experience, your educational history, and when we will submit our profile. Now our profile is ready. So basically, when you go to your profile, you'll be asked to complete your profile. As freelancers with complete profile, quality profiles are 4.5 times more likely to get hired by clients. So basically, you have to put your employment information, your portfolio, your education, a video introduction for 30 to 60 seconds, certifications that you have, other experiences that you actually have. So let's go to our portfolio and we need to create a portfolio to make sure that people would understand what our strengths are and based on our strength they'll be able to give us a project so basically we'll add a portfolio projects we enter a project title i'm going to go over here now one of the major things that you need to make sure that you do is before you actually create a project you need to put it all together on word once you have it on word wire now you'll add a portfolio and the portfolio projects are very important because this gives a background of what kind of work you've been doing and what kind of work they can expect from you so your client will definitely look at your portfolio and see the 
amount of work you've done and the sort of work that you've done. And based upon that, they'll give you the work or not. So make sure that you give detailed descriptions and give a full information in this regard. So the project title is very important. You need to enter a brief but descriptive title. So the project title is going to be Eagle Logo and the related Upwork is optional. Obviously, once you complete your contract and Upwork, you'll be able to link your work as well. The completion date is also optional. So let's go to a template. There's different templates that are available that you can do. You can do a gallery, case study, or a classic. I think the classic will look absolutely brilliant. So we're going to add some details now. So this is a breakdown of what your project description is about. So what's your client goal for the project? Details about your contribution to the project, a summary of the project success. I made a high-end logo that had different elements in it. It had met the requirements of the client. It was designed by me and I was able to get it done in a small time frame. I work very well with different teams and understand what is required of me and I try to make sure that the client need is always met. The project description needs to be very detailed. This is just an example that I'm giving you guys. Please make sure that you add all this information if you want to make your portfolio a success. Then you can drag and drop different files as well. You can add a video link as well and you can add skills and deliverables that are optional. You can add them and you can put your project URL, which is also option, guys. So basically, we'll browse and find the project that we're talking about right now. So we're going to go on. So this is the project that was made. And obviously, this is the description that we've given for it. So this is a project where people will see and set it as the project cover. We can add a caption. We'll say Eagle, Eagle Flies. Guys, it is as simple as as that. We're going to go to preview now. And once we go to preview, it's going to show us exactly the title, the project descriptions, and obviously the logo and classic. And then we'll hit publish. So guys, this is our profile. Now we have our picture, our descriptions, and obviously our video introductions. If we add it and how many hours per week we work and our languages, verifications, education, and the work history that we have and what our rate is as well. And this is our portfolio and you can check it out and you can add more portfolios by going to this add button over here and adding more portfolios portfolios as well and the skills are available and obviously your project catalog is available as well and you will get testimonials from clients once you get a project and finish the project and there's different certifications that can be added as well and employment history and other experiences it is as simple as that guys you can go back step by step and do it again if you make any mistakes if you have any questions whatsoever you can always drop a message in the comment section below and we will definitely get back to you if you've not subscribed to the channel guys do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon and share this videos with your friends and your family so more people can find out how easily you can create a profile and a portfolio on upwork.com until our next video take care